Hello and welcome. This is the first in a five video mini-series to create this little Worms clone project. We'll cover how you can create collision geometry from an image, how you can destroy and reshape that geometry in real time, and how you can use some simple shaders to hide parts of a sprite that have been destroyed. By the end of this series, you'll have the destructible node that you can put onto any sprite to make it susceptible to a wizard's exploding slimes. This will hopefully be self-contained enough that you can drop it into any project that you're currently working on. If you check the description below, I've got a playlist for all the videos in the series, as well as a link to the project source code on GitHub. There's just one last thing that I want to touch on in this video because I forgot to talk about it in the others. I've set up a custom collision layer for all things destruction. The collision holder on our destructible node is on the destructible layer, so is our exploding slime. Things that shouldn't be destroyed, or destroy others, like our wizard, are only on the default layer. You can configure this stuff in the project settings. Down here, under layer names, there's a 2D physics section. You can set up a name for each layer. This doesn't have any impact on anything code-wise, it's just a hint so that you know what each layer is used for. With that set up, you can now sit down, get comfortable, and dive into this project starting with the camera, character, and weapons.